I study mostly their habitat, so I look at the snow and sea ice in the Arctic. Uh, what I think will happen, or what I'm predicting, is that there's a lot of variability in the system uh, that we are, we're assuming, so it's going to be conditional on a, a number of different factors. Uh, a lot of the media right now is focusing on climate change being the big factor and the negative impact. Some, again, some populations will thrive in that. There'll be more ice movement, creating more preferable habitat for the bear and the ring seals, which they feed on. Um, so again, certain populations will have a, have a better chance of surviving. Other populations won't. So I think the key is that there's going to be a lot of spatial variability. Eventually, if things can continue and uh, we start getting less and less ice in the Arctic, that's just overall a bad thing. But I think when we start looking at the spatial component, it's going to be uh, significantly spatially dependent. So certain, again, pop certain areas will have more bears, other areas will lose too many bears. Where are they doing well? Where? Uh, in the, mostly in the Canadian Arctic, in the uh, archipelago, in the islands. They're, uh, they're, the ice is still there, the snow is there, so they're still um, being able to maintain their food source and, and uh, some of those populations, uh, there's not a high number of bears, so they're not out competing each other. So in those areas they're doing well, more in the peripheries in the Beaufort Sea and the Hudson Bay in, in the Canadian Arctic. Anyway, those are the, the uh, populations that are, are really dwindling. And, and a lot of people don't think that they'll be able to adapt. Uh, they won't be able to move uh, further north uh, at the rate at which we're losing ice in those areas and snow. So uh, the current knowledge or understanding is that those populations will just die off. So we'll lose part of the part of the genetic structure of the of the bear in terms of uh, losing those populations.